did. I destroyed the costume I was making for my boss's daughter, and he's coming to pick it up today. And what's worse, the costume was my ticket to winning our neighborhood costume contest. You see, every Halloween, we design costumes for the neighborhood kids, and then we decide which one was the most creative one. My homemade Cleopatra clown costume was finally going to be my victory this year. And now I'm the clown. Ooh, what to do, what to do? I don't know, I don't know what to do. Every October, I change my ringtones to something spooky. It gets me every time. Hello? I'm coming for you, Phyllis. You're dead meat. Oh, may I ask who's calling? Sorry, it's April. I had candy corn stuck in my throat. I just wanted to say best of luck winning second place because we all know first place is mine. I'm actually not entering this year's kids' costume contest. I just can't. I'm in a real jam. But, you know, I really could use your costuming expertise. April, she's the best seamstress in town. She'll help me with my boss's kid's costume, and unbeknownst to her, I'm still going to enter it into the costume contest. I may actually win this year. <laughs> oh, Phyllis, you're an evil genius. Well, thank you. She said that? I am the best seamstress in town. That almost makes me feel bad for beating her in the kids' costume contest every year. Almost. Oh, thank you for coming, April. Yeah, no problem. Oh, let me get rid of this. I brought over a ton of adorable costume patterns from Joanne and some neat little things to spice them up. So what kind of costumes your boss's kid gonna like? Whatever costume will win the neighborhood contest. Am I right? I'm open to, for anything. Well, let's get started. Ooh. Oh, darn. Oh, Let me no. go get a bandage. Okay. okay. Just in the middle of something, let me call you right back. The call is coming from inside the house. Here. Well, okay, Phyllis. I was just saying that I can come by and pick up my daughter's costume if it's ready. The, the costume is ready. Um, yeah. <laughs> 